You are enjoying or about to enjoy your morning cup. Consider this. A new study says moderate coffee drinking could help you live longer and a healthier life. NBC News medical correspondent Dr. John Torres is here. Yay! Yay! It's nice when you come with good Everybody's information, isn't it? Everybody's loving this news. Everybody's loving it. What, what's the deal here? How many cups a day and what's the connection? Well, this was a large study, and if you've looked in the past, over the last few decades, coffee's gone back and forth. Yeah. Some studies saying it's not very good for you, others saying avoid it at all costs, occasionally saying it's good. This was a huge study, 180,000 people over 16 years, average age a little under 60. That's important because they looked at six different diseases, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, kidney and respiratory disease and they found out if you drink coffee you're less likely to die overall and less likely to die from those diseases in particular so when people think coffee they're gonna yeah. think it's the caffeine that's what caffeine's yeah. good for you is that what they found it turns out it's not the caffeine whether it was caffeinated or decaffeinated you got the same exact benefits what they did find is if you drank one cup of coffee a day it cut your risk by 12 percent of dying if you drank two to three cups a day it cut your risk by 18 percent above three cups it stayed about that 18 percent range so two to three seems to be the range. I think the problem with a lot of people in coffee is we don't love it black. We like to put good stuff in yeah. it. Coffee yeah. made sugar, etc. And that, I always bring, does that wreck it? I always bring good news, but I'm a little yeah. bit of a doggy yeah. downer, and uh -huh. that's the main thing. If you put in the flavorings, the, the milk, the sugar, the whipped cream, those types of things, that's going to add calories. Calories is going to add weight. Weight's going to cause its own health problems. Right. So obviously the black coffee is what gives you the benefit, but most people add flavorings. As long as you do it in moderation, that's the key. But to a certain extent, the more coffee you drink, the longer you live. I'm going to exactly. live to 600. Yes. <laughs> the headline on it, Bob, is because coffee lowers your risk of dying. Basically, yeah. your risk of dying is 100%. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, bring up a good it doesn't point, change that. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't change it, but it prolongs it a little bit, and so that's good. Okay. okay. Dr. Torres? Nice Cheers to you. Put that in your pot yeah. and brew it. Okay. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.